Alrighty, before we get started on the last step of the tutorial, what we're going to do is add more steps to our controller. Um, so we're going to go into our edit parameter interface, and we're going to add some different things into our simulation. So we're going to go create another folder, and this one's going to be... I think we're going to call it edit mesh. And we are going to turn off for bid linking. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to add our resample. So put that under edit mesh. And this is going to be, what should we call this? I feel like we should call it lines resample. I think our convert, I think our smooth is good. And now we just need to add our poly wire. So we just need to we need to do line radius. And save to disk. There we go. We're going to add a separator into the edit mesh. VDB from polygons. Um, so we're going to call this, put a folder underneath here. And we're going to call it uh, mesh. the voxel size in there. We're going to do the dilate. As well as another dilate there. And we're good. And now on to the other clumps. So we'll add another folder underneath here um, that will be called clumping. For this one, Voxel size will be called star clumps. So, voxel size. Dilate. Throw it under there. Smooth, I think we're, uh, another dilate, I think we're good. Smoothing. I think we'll just add the radius for that. And then we're good for this side. We'll add a separator so we don't confuse, be confused with the other clumping. VVD from polygons, uh, Volk voxel size there. Uh, will be called regular clumps. And then we will add a reshaped SDF. So 
Smoothing, we should be good. Segmentation, reshape. We'll add the erode. There you go. And we should be good for this side. Scrolling down, we're, uh, we just need to add our VBDs. So what we'll do is probably put this under our separator here and we'll go mesh, save the disk, and then we'll put this as, what should we put that as? So we'll put polywire. There we go. And we'll apply and then we'll accept it and we should be good to go. So if we scroll down here, we should see our mesh, which is good. And now let's walk through the other steps. And I'm just going to drag our controller down here just to make sure everything's good to go. So edit mesh, everything's good there. Awesome. So it should look like that. So now with our new mesh, what we can do is subdivide it. This might be a little bit long. We can delete our mesh by grabbing our group clumping, making this VDB from polygons, reshaping it with an erode, converting it to an SDF, uh, SDF fog, and then scattering some points. And what the, we are doing now is creating like our star clumps in our little uh, simulation. So we can add an attribute randomized for the P scale and the max value is 0 0.01. And then we've added a copy to points, which is copying these spheres to points. And the poly, I've changed the sphere to polygon. Uniform scale is 0 0.34, frequency is two. And then I have saved it out to disk. I've then added some color, so it's pure white, and then merged it in with some other points. And there we go, we have some points. So uh, you can see it's grabbing something else from above here, so let's walk through that. Um, before we do that, we can go to our VBD from Polygons 2, which is creating our little mesh. Its voxel size is 0 0.003. Um, exterior band voxels is 8. So it's, gra it's being plugged into the subdivide, which is up here. Um, it's then, some points are then being scattered on it. So there's about 8,234 points. And then the P scale is um, 0, 0, 0. Um, could probably go a little bit higher than that, I think. We're not gonna see it in the simulation. We totally should. So we'll put that in there. And these are being colored blue and putting pushed out to these, this little black output, which is out stars. Um, over here, we can see a VBD from particles, which is being grabbed from that color swap over here. Um, what this is doing is creating these almost globular clusters. Um, and what this is doing is creating a almost, almost like a VDB backdrop to our stars. So it's creating an extra kind of glowing haziness to them. Um, and the radius scale and radius and voxels are up here. I'm then smoothing these out and coloring them this blue color. And this is going out to our star glow. The other thing that's happening over here is that from our points up here, we are also doing something similar where we are creating that backdrop glow and we are creating a VDB from particles. So if we click on this, we should see something start to happen. See our points in space. Um, these are once again being colored blue and there is an additional out star glow here. Now if we go over here, um, we have back to our VDB from polygons. This is clearly our main web. So we want to go out color and it's bright blue and then our out swap, which is out web, which is pretty cool. 
Now something else is also happening, happening over here. So from our attribute randomize, we have connected a bound, but what we can also do is connect this to the scatter node up here and have the exact same effect. So this is creating our bounding box or essentially our box, our container for the universe essentially. Um, so this is a bound. Um, it doesn't have any, it's got zero, zero, zero for the padding. The wiring is something similar that we did in the uh, previous version. So this wire radius is 0 0.012. And there's a normal and a bounding box out. So this setup over here is something a little bit different. So you can do, I'm going to say before anything else happens. Thank you, Houdini. Um, so basically this setup over here, so you can do that kind of purpley infrared thing that we did in the previous setup. Um, well, the other things you can do like a bluey kind of glow and make them really interesting. So I'll give you an example here. So this would be the bluey kind of glow setup with the lines and the stars, etc. And the other things that I just pointed out can make you do something like this. So we'll dive back into the setup. So over here, essentially we're doing the exact same thing that we showed in the previous setup where we're taking our mesh, reconverting it to an SDF, and then gradually making reducing it and making it smaller so we have these glowing-esque clumps. Um, so over here, we haven't reduced a lot yet. Go down to the reshape. So we're eroding it, converting it, and coloring it. That makes any sense and then we have an out which says out close up glow and then over here we're doing the exact same thing so we're grabbing this convert fog to sdf reshaping the S fdf converting it back to a volume and coloring it once again so as you can see with the colors i'm making it slowly brighter and then we've got an out close up glow and for this one, exact same thing. I'm reshaping. So it's slowly getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Converting the VDB back to a VDB. And then coloring it once again. And there's your out. So now before we jump to the surface and render this and show you what you have, what we're going to do is once again, add this to our controller. So this is where it's gonna get a little bit complicated because we have a bunch of outputs. Um, so we're gonna close up everything we do have so we don't have to look at it. So the first thing we're gonna do is probably put this out as web output. And we are going to Subdivide, I think we're good. Delete, we're good. VDB from polygons. I think we're, what we're gonna do is also create a folder called stars. So for the web output, the VDB from polygons, we're gonna put our voxel size. And then the color. We can also create a bounding box folder as well. So it's going to be bounding box. So we'll put the bounds in there. Awesome. Our wire radius. So probably push that to the bottom.
and I think we're good there. Uh, we'll click apply just so we can save it. Oh shoot, I just realized I put vinyl, final voxel size and color underneath stars, so I'll just change that shortly. So now we'll save before anything else happens. Uh, we'll change this back to where it should, should supposed to be in stars. Um, and then we'll start cramp. Oh, sorry. We'll put, we just put the, I just moved the final voxel size and color back where it should be, which is in web output. Now we'll work on the stars. Um, so what we'll do next, what should we call you? BDB from polygons. Voxel size pump probably would work. Reshaping SDF. I think we're good there. Converting, we're good. Scattering. So we'll do this clump scatter. Attribute randomize. So P scale. And then we'll add our save the disk, which should be in there. And then we'll also add a separator just so we don't get confused in the next step. Um, so for the out stars, so we'll add star color. We'll rename that star color. And we'll also add a different folder underneath stars for additional stars. And we'll put the additional star count in there. So And we'll also add the attribute randomize. Awesome. And now for our star glow. So for our star glow, I think I'm going to put this under stars as well. So we'll do star glow. And we'll do voxel size because I don't the voxel size as well as a point radius scale size. So go glow voxel size and the radius glow radius scale. And then we'll add a separator. For the additional glow, so the voxel size will be additional and then the color, I should probably add the color in here too, um, star glow, there. Then we'll add some more glow over here. There you go. And we should be good from this end. Now for our kind of close up glow, we'll create a new folder. We'll, I think we'll leave these ones alone. They look like they're working. So we'll only add the uh, shape SDF. And we'll put the offset in there. So this one will be erode outer 
well. And this will be the outer color. And we'll add a separator. And we'll do that for the rest. And then we'll put this in there. There we go. And we'll quickly apply and save that. So now we can go to the surface and go grab all these parameters. So now that we're at the surface, I will, we've already previously set up our render nodes for simulation two. So we'll go and we'll dive inside and we'll grab our stars. Simulation two. We should see our stars in here, so we'll just wait for it. Awesome, and those are our stars. So what I think I'm gonna do to save myself a lot of time is just cash this out because um, I don't wanna kill myself. Alrighty, so now that that's cashed out, we can jump up and we can turn that on. And we can go to render star glow and we're gonna dive inside. And we have two different merge nodes all set up already. So we can go to do, 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 additional star glow, and we'll just wait for that. Alrighty, so we now have our star clumps, and we can see them kind of clumping around our stars. I think what I'm going to do is just hide other objects for now, so we can see that. Um, we're going to go over here, and also bring in our other star glow. And boom, we have some more star glow. So we'll turn that on. Should be up and running. And we'll go inside here. We'll go over here. And so what else should we do? A web. There we go. There's our web. And you can see that during this process, you'll notice that everything starts to slow down a little bit. So don't be too scared. Um, save as you go. Then we want to render our background. So we're going to go up here. And we're going to go... out web additional we got a volume so more noise you can add this close-up glow which I'll keep off for now but just so you guys can see it we'll add them in Place this here. Awesome. We'll save. Dive out.
And the other thing we'll do, go into here and grab our web fractal lines. Sorry about that. Um, Houdini crashed on me, so we have to go back into our web graph backgrounds and pump out those fractal lines again. So we're going to go in there. I have it on manual for now because I just don't want to wait for things. Um, so we got web out fractal lines. And then we're going to add our bounding box. And then that should be good and we should be good to render. Um, We'll put those on as well and we'll save before anything goes bad and we'll wait for Houdini to think and decide what it wants to do. Alrighty, so now we have our cosmic web. Let's add our camera. We'll go cam simulation G2. And then we'll go to our render right after we save because I don't trust anything. Um, we'll choose our camera and we'll render. And hopefully everything will be great. Um, I might have put the two background fractal lines in the wrong node, but we'll see about that. And if so, we'll, we'll correct it um, because I did design their materials differently. Alrighty, okay, so that didn't work. Um, you can see the big mistake I see. Uh, so we'll turn off the background noise. We'll see what happens. Um, right now we've got a cosmic web forming. See it. You need don't crash. All right, so cosmic web is forming. We know it's there. Um, we've got a lot of stars in there. So we can actually go in and if you feel like it, you can reduce that number of stars. Um, but overall it looks pretty cohesive. We'll render it out and see what happens. I think there's too much glow on our stars as well. We could probably even make the material of our, um, web brighter, I think, could be a better option as well. So we can see that rendering right now. Um, if we crank up the exposure, this is something you can probably do in comp as well, we can see it there. Um, Got some glow happening, it's being very web-like, and it's very hazy, almost like NASA simulations, which, which is what we were kind of aiming for in the first place. So it's almost there. I think we can make those lines brighter. I'm going to turn off rendering for now. I'm going to double check what material we had on our web, which was Billy the Smoke Web. I'm going to go to that. Temperature output is a temp. And the color is this. And I feel like we can make this better. So we're going to go out here. We're going to dive into our temperature. Delete this. And we are going to do an attribute create. I make this just a tiny bit brighter. So. Maybe 1.2. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Alrighty, so we can see that our temperature is working, but because of our material palette, Billy Smoke Web, you can see the coloration here. We need to change that for this to not be purple. So I'm going to turn off rendering and I'm going to just make this a little bit better. So we're gonna go from maybe like that to maybe a blue. We'll make it like maybe something like that. I don't want to go too dark so we'll do something like this and we'll save and we'll render. Whoa okay that is bright. That is even brighter than I thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, you can see the web kind of forming. And you can do this and you can customize this the way you want and how you feel like it. I think... Do I risk it? Make that darker? Let's see. 
Yeah, that's way better. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, we've got a mission. We can edit our mission. And that's kind of how you build the cosmic web. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Kate, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!